Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh yang amat berhormat Datuk Haji Hasni bin Muhammad Menteri Besar Johor yang amat berhormat Datuk Haji Azmi bin Rohani Johor State Secretary yang berhormat Datuk Haji Salihuddin bin Haji Hasan Johor State Financial Officer yang berhormat Datuk Dr Bajul Hisham bin Kasim Deputy State Secretary Development of Johor Mayors and Yang Dipertua, Setiusaha Bahagian Kerajaan Tempatan CEOs and Senior Management, Members from the Private Sector Members of the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen A very good afternoon to all of you and welcome to the Iskandar Malaysia 15 years commemorative campaign launching event Iskandar Malaysia is gearing to be the metropolis of international standing with an estimated population of 3 million people by 2025 it is the ideal place for you to invest, work, live and play as Iskandar Malaysia offers 1001 experiences for you to enjoy. From world-class education hub to modern state-of-the-art infrastructure and an array of attractions, Iskandar Malaysia is the place where your dreams become reality. In 2021, Iskandar Malaysia reaches its 15th year of development, thus sparking off the Iskandar Malaysia 15th year commemorative campaign or IM15CC. Through IM15CC, we aim to enhance the brand awareness of Iskandar Malaysia by showcasing our achievements for the past 15 years and its partners as a key component in the development of Iskandar Malaysia. Today, we are here to welcome all of you to join the campaign and to highlight our aspirations in the years to come as a strong, sustainable metropolis of international standing. Ladies and gentlemen, I now call upon Yang Mubahagia Dato Ismail bin Ibrahim, Chief Executive of IRDA, for his welcoming speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya Amat Berhormat, Datuk Haji Hasni bin Muhammad, the Menteri Besar of Johor. Ya Amat Berhormat, Datuk Haji Azmi bin Rohani, the Johor State Secretary. Ya Amat Berhormat, Datuk Haji Salehuddin bin Haji Hassan, the Johor State Financial Officer. Ya Amat Berhormat, Datuk Dr. Badrul Hisham bin Kasim, the Deputy State Secretary Development for Johor. Mayors and young deputy, CEOs and senior management members from the private sectors. Who knew that a classic Malaysian proverb is after all a hint of the future we are now living in? We were taught that jauh di mata, dekat di hati is all about loneliness, opening for someone, but it turns out that it could have been all about virtual engagements. Though everyone is separated, seated in different locations, we can still feel the closeness, maintain a strong connection and a healthy relationship with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, modern Johor was founded in 1855 when Temenggong Ibrahim opened Iskandar Putri as the Johor Administrative Center with the creation of a police station a court and various departments in stages. In the late 1980s, His Majesty, uh, in the late 1880s, His Majesty Sultan Abu Bakar proclaimed the Johor State Constitution in the late 1890s, and from then on, Johor has long played a key strategic role in the history and development of Malaysia and the region beyond. Black pepper and gambe farms flourished with the introduction of farmers from China and workers from Java. In 1908, railway track across the state of Johor was completed and the causeway connecting Johor and Singapore was subsequently completed in 1924. Education was made mandatory through the compulsory education enactment of 1902. Johor was already well-established international connections forged from centuries of interaction with a variety of external merchants and settlers, including Arabs, Indian Muslims, the Portuguese, the Dutch, and the British. In this context, and following the proposal established by the Malaysian government's nine Malaysian plan for the year 2006-2010 to develop five regional economic areas to catalyze national growth, the South Johor Economic Region was earmarked as the Southern Development Corridor. This economic region later became known as the Iskandar Development Region and subsequently Iskandar Malaysia. 
and the rest as they say is history yang mohamad datuk ladies and gentlemen today the south johor conurbation is one of the largest economic areas in the country with a diverse local economy and growing clusters that have emerged around the electrical and electronics logistics food and agro processing tourism health education and oil and petrochemical industries its location or strategic location along one of the world's busiest shopping route shipping routes as well as its close proximity to the international hub of singapore and other large markets such as indonesia china and india plus its rich endowment of natural and human resources have all underpinned south johor's past successes and underscore its future potential just 15 years down the road is kana malaysia's total cumulative investment is recorded at 337.3 billion ringgit with china singapore united states of america japan netherlands and republic of korea being the top foreign investors in the region from internationally recognized hospital and medical centers universities and schools theme parks a film studio hotels shopping centers and all all of which offers the rakyat and visitors a live high quality services and products that they can enjoy while staying living working or visiting here in iskandar malaysia the various investments that have set their foot in iskandar malaysia big and small added further benefit to the rakyat and these have partly contributed to the 800000 jobs and more than 95000 small and medium enterprises created since 2006 the quality of living is further enhanced by reinforcing basic infrastructure and facilities such as roma iskandar malaysia iskandar coastal highway kempas interchange centralized sewerage treatment plant at sungai segit the segit landscape iskandar malaysia bus rapid transit and the recently launched tunku makota ismail youth center communities are also empowered to rise in line with the physical development of the region through iskandar malaysia social hero awards hub and iskandar malaysia youth empowerment fund village enhancement and empowerment program iskandar malaysia beyond boundaries program the johor student leadership council youth to bis dynamic entrepreneurs iskandar malaysia program and the iskandar malaysia urban farming to name a few the rapid development and social growth is complemented by the region's resilient environment driven by comprehensive and well defined guidelines and international support and recognition this include the internationally recognized and locally adopted low carbon society for iskandar malaysia 2025 with its 12 actions consisting of 52 sub actions 97 measures and 281 programs to transform iskandar malaysia into a low carbon society of course this circle of sustainability that is economy social and the environment is empowered and encapsulated inside the region's smart city agenda that focuses on technology and innovation central to this is the iskandar malaysia urban observatory or imuo as a single window that integrates data from various authoritative sources and transform them into actionable information for better policy making and well informed decision making yang amat berhormat datuk ladies and gentlemen as a special economic zone iskandar malaysia must be innovative to be able to face and quickly adapt to local and global changes and trends to ensure that its vision to be a strong and sustainable international metropolis of international standing for the rakyat and the public as well as the private sectors is attainable as planned as such now more than ever especially with the covid-19 pandemic disruption is the appropriate time to review our long term comprehensive development plan or cdp the review will blend and correspond to the latest government's plans policies and budget allocations 
at the federal, state and local levels, the international agendas and standards. The review is also to provide comprehensive action plans and roadmap to achieve its Malaysia's target, taking into consideration the new potential sectors into its Malaysia holistic ecosystem. The new comprehensive development plan for Iskandar Malaysia requires cooperation, support, active participation, commitment, and sustained involvement of the many agencies, stakeholders, and players at all levels. This includes the federal, the state, and the local governments, agencies, business communities, local leaders, and communities, as well as global industry players. Yama Bohmat, ladies and gentlemen, this year, Iskandar Malaysia will be 15 years old in November. And event today serves as the kickoff to the Iskandar Malaysia 15 year commemorative campaign or IM 15 CC. It is not so much of a celebration, but rather of an inspiration of the achievements of the region and its partners for the past year. We have planned various activities and we hope you will support and participate in especially in sending out the messages on success and opportunities for businesses and rakyat in Iskandar Malaysia. With that, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our partners and stakeholders who are present virtually today and those who are not here for all the support that you have given to realize the vision of Iskandar Malaysia. Our special gratitude to Ya Ahmad Bohamad, Menteri Besar of Johor, for taking the reins and propelling Iskandar Malaysia forward in line with the development of the state of Johor. Being involved in the past 15 years of the development of Iskandar Malaysia has, I believe, created many successful achievements and wonderful memories for all of us. I and I hope everyone too will continue to maintain the good relationship and to work together for mutual benefit. As I end this speech, let's have a quick look at Iskandar Malaysia's 15 years journey. Thank you again. Stay safe and all the best. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.
Thank you, Dato, for that speech. Ladies and gentlemen, with great honour, I would like to invite Yang Amat Berhormat, Dato Haji Hasni bin Muhammad, Menteri Besar of Johor, for his speech. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good afternoon uh, to everyone. Um, <clears throat> Of course, this is a very strange and a very um, uh, different feeling that uh, to have such a very auspicious uh, day we done uh, in Vienna. But uh, I hope we will still be able to use our wildest imagination so that this ceremony could be as um, eventful and a very uh, significant uh, event uh, eventually yeah um yang bomar dato haji azmi rohani our johor state secretary yang bomar dato haji saluddin bin haji hasan our new johor state financial officer yang berbahagia dato ismail ibrahim our chief executive of iskandar regional development authority uh, irda uh, and its uh, team, Yang Bomad Dato Dato Badu Hisham bin Kasim, our Deputy State Secretary for Development of Johor, Mayors, um, and Yang Dipetua, Senior Management Representative from the uh, private sector, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Um, it is, in fact, my honor today to be present, although virtually, at the launch of the Iskandar Malaysia 15-year commemorative campaign, a subtle yet significant milestone for Iskandar Malaysia. This is evident that despite the simple ceremony today, I see a lot of key players from the government as well as private sector and the community joining virtually from near and far reflecting the uh, strong support that the region has from its many stakeholders. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Yang berbahagia Dato Ismail, uh, as we all hear from his uh, welcoming speech, uh, indicate the short history lesson on Iskandar Malaysia, hits the spot when he mentioned that this region was earmarked as the economic corridor for the southern region and as the first out of five to be created in Malaysia due mainly to the location and the abundance resources that the state of Johor can offer. For the state of Johor, the seven Iktiar Makmo Johor that I announced in the middle of last year and amongst them the development of uh, Growth Triangle, Singapore, Johor and Riau, the opening of Johor office in Singapore, Jacko, and also the Johor Food Bank under the Johor Food Security Initiative, which specifically take advantage of Johor location and proximity to Singapore and the abundant land and manpower resources in the state of Johor. For Iskandar Malaysia, Singapore is the international gateway for international tourists apart from Singaporeans themselves and the international traveller to come to the region for business, medical services, education and leisure. This has an immediate impact on the local businesses and communities who read the benefit from the purchasing power 
and investment of the travelers as well as visitors. In fact, the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Yang Amat Bomat Tan Sri Datuk Haji Muhyiddin Yassin, also recognizes the land advantage that Johor has, as he suggested in the recent IRDA Member of Authorities meeting for Iskandar Malaysia to quickly start implementing modern farming and turn Johor into the main food producer in the country. Speaking from the Johor State point of view, I believe Iskandar Malaysia has proven itself to be capable enough of reaching its vision of becoming a strong and sustainable metropolis of international standing with the teamwork and support from all the players. It does not stand and grow alone through, though as though I see spillover benefit to its neighboring areas and to the state of Johor through the investment that it has received and the initiative that it organizes. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought abrupt disruption to the economy and people's livelihood, not only locally but globally as well. Every government, businesses and individuals is grappling to find solutions and avenues to overcome the trials and sustain their livelihood. Johor is no exception. We want, we too want the economy and Johorian to recover quickly from the challenges caused by this pandemic. Last year, the state of Johor offered cash assistance to the various groups that were affected by the pandemic, just, such as the B40 and also the COVID-19 positive patient. Traders who were renting premises owned by local, author local authorities or local council and public markets were also exempted from paying rent starting April until December of 2020. This basic quick and win solution, quick win solutions, are meant to ensure that small businesses and the rakyat can continue to survive during these trying times. This afternoon, I'm pleased to announce that Iskandar Malaysia has taken one step further to safeguard that not only can the small businesses and people survive, but their recovery and survival can be sustained for a longer period of time through this pandemic and even afterward. In conjunction with the launch of the Iskandar Malaysia 15-year commemorative campaign, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Sustainable Social Economic Recovery Initiative in Iskandar Malaysia, or in short, Secure at Iskandar Malaysia. Secure at Iskandar Malaysia is a collection of programs that will sustain the socio-economic recovery of the community as well as SME in Iskandar, Malaysia through three areas which are, which are capacity building, reskilling and upskilling, and also fund and grant for businesses. The Iskandar Malaysia Youth2Biz or Y2B program, for example, is a 50-50 matching grant concept for mobile vehicle businesses or 
business shed facilities with the maximum grant of 150,000 ringgit. The Iskandar Malaysia Makmur program, on the other hand, focus on the minority group such as single mothers, often fishermen, the disabled community, senior citizen, and indigenous people to assist them to overcome the barrier in generating income. This includes support from job-based and entrepreneurship skills and tuition for their children. For local businesses, the Iskandar Malaysia Employment Grant can help them to retain their employee and recruit new ones through salary grant matching for up to six months. Urban farming, on the other hand, is becoming increasingly popular and those who wanted to be part of the businesses can, can look forward to the Iskandar Malaysia Urban Farming Program. There are several options to be a modern farmer in Iskandar Malaysia, either through the outdoor integrated farming concept or indoor farming system, together with the high-tech modular vertical farming with the Internet of Things as a solution. There are just some examples, these are just some examples of program that can be found under the Secure at Iskandar Malaysia. In addition to the initiative above, I was also made to understand that through this 15-year campaign, IRDA will be organizing the Iskandar Learning Festival. This year-long informative and educational festival is aimed at endure, enhancing the knowledge and skills of the people through various online training, workshops, classes, conferences, and similar events. Amongst the area of knowledge include the e-commerce, the smart city, employment, tourism, human resource, leadership, and also promoted sector specific. Ladies and gentlemen, the team for the Iskandar Malaysia 15-year commemorative campaign is Kukuh Bersama Iskandar Malaysia, which depict the strength that comes from the unity and togetherness of the people, our economy, and the collaboration and support from all stakeholders and partners. Hence, I would like to take this special opportunity to thank all the partners and stakeholders who have been with Iskandar Malaysia throughout the 15 years journey. And I hope that everyone will still be in the region for the years to come. It is not an easy task, I know, to look at the holistic growth of the state or a region that need a well-balanced focus on the economy, social and environment. And I'm convinced that Iskandar Malaysia has achieved through a strong partnership and relationship with the many different partners and stakeholders as the main reason behind the success story. While we all have our hiccups and challenges due to the pandemic, it is by a coordinated effort from all parties that we can truly prevail and sustain through now and after the pandemic. 
Kanda Malaysia is still going through its journey towards being a strong and sustainable metropolis of international standing. And judging by the list of accomplishments that Yang Babagir Datu Ismail has mentioned and has listed out just now, more and more milestones are being conquered in this journey. Let us let's use this 15-year campaign as a point to reflect on the accomplishment and strengthen the plan for the future. I would like again to congratulate Iskandar Malaysia and all its partner for the wonderful 15 year of development and accomplishment. Thank you, stay safe and uh, all the very best to everyone. Thank you. Sekian, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Amat Berhormat Datuk. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we will now move on to the anticipated agenda today, the launching ceremony. I would like to request Yang Amat Berhormat Datuk Hasni and Yang Berbahagia Datuk Ismail to scan their palm on the iPad that's in front of you right now to launch the campaign. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the launch of IM15CC. I would like to request for everyone to switch on your camera, put on the virtual background, and put on your brightest smile, because we will proceed with the group photo.
Okay, we will do it one more time because we're trying to get everyone in the video, the photo. <coughs> Okay, one, two, three, smile. With that, we have come to the end of our e event. On behalf of Erda and the organizing committee, I would like to thank you for making time, Yang Amat Berhormat, Datuk Haji Hasni bin Muhammad, Menteri Besar Johor, Yang Berhormat, Datuk Haji Azmi bin Rohani, Johor State Secretary, Yang Berhormat, Datuk Haji Salihuddin bin Haji Hassan, Johor State Financial Officer, Yang Berhormat, Datuk Dr. Bajul Hisham bin Kasim, Deputy State Secretary Development of Johor, Mayors and Yang Dipertua, CEOs and Senior Management, Members from the Private Sector, Members of the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen. Thank you for making time in joining us during this amazing milestone. All of you had an impact in making Iskandar Malaysia what it is today and we thank you. We do apologize for any shortcomings throughout this event. Stay safe. Stay home, and if you must go out, mask on. Thank you, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.